Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. I have yet to move my map or anything on this game since I ended the last episode. Because I went to go immediately upload that stuff. And I just recorded. Oh, perfect timing! Now we can just immediately get that extra defense. Where's my cursor? There it is. Boom! Now we're done with two paths and we just got... Ten more level up to go, or ability points rather. In general, to go. Wait, why am I. This is a gust of wind that we can go on here, isn't it? Yep. That makes life a lot easier. How did I kill that one from here? Don't know, but I don't care because I will take it. This is also a gust of wind. What am I doing? So, uh, last time though, we went into the Forlorn Ruins. Uh, it was a pretty not happy fun time in the selection. Did I just double bash off of them? I think I did. I'm gonna kill you bashing now because of that. Just because of that. Uh, this time we'll be heading off to, uh... Am I really supposed to bring that guy all the way down here? To Sorrow Pass. And see what is in store for us there. Right after I go and bring this church. Oh, okay. Now I understand how I can bring them there. As soon as they respawn. Hello? Buddy? Thank you. There they are. I'm glad I aimed a little bit farther down. Ah, this is where the other map stone fragment's supposed to be. Nice. Why did they make this map stone so annoying to put in? I should have just actually preloaded the save and just never put it in. Just kept the map stone on me all times. Just for the heck of it. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter where you got the map stone fragment from. It'll take any of them. So if you don't use one, you can just use it on a different one. And just never care about finding the other fragment. Not that the fragments are too hard to find though. At least not that bad. Let's get out of my face. I don't know which direction is faster to go in. So I'm just gonna pick one. I still can't do that. Actually, why have I not, not been killing birds? I should be killing birds. Let me go back for those birds, because we need the levels. Ten levels is still quite a lot, and I don't think there's ten ability point thingies left. Oh, thanks, game. Getting hit canceled with charge flame. That's so stupid. I hate charge flame. Charge flame sucks. Doesn't even kill things. You know, I was gonna confusingly say, or question if it was the charge flame or if it was me gliding that canceled. Or sorry, if it was me getting hit or if it was me gliding that canceled the charge flame. But now I know it was definitely me getting hit. Because, you know, I just glided up to that bird with charge flame. Actually, can you stop being there so I can save and heal? Mainly heal. Thank you. Yeah, I should probably kill you guys again. Alright. I hit that one way too late. Even if you do consider the fact that I swear to you I've hit this button. Like, before projectiles get to me and it somehow doesn't. I don't. I got the too high. actually hit you? I hope I hit this guy by mistake somehow. Dang. It would've been hilarious if I found out that I actually hit them by shooting too high. Thank you. Alright, I need to hit this one. Can I hit you from up here? Oh, I can't. 
a loser. Get hacked. Loser. Can't, can't even jump. Imagine not being able to jump. Ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, uh, it would have been ridiculous if they really wanted you to climb back up here. So thank goodness they gave you a nice gust of wind to just easily get back up here. Which also explains how you're probably meant to get that. Probably meant to do this. Light up. Instead of uh, climbing all the way back up and then jumping down again. But you know what? I did it my way and that's it. That, that's all. It was my way or the highway. Why do they have that set up like that? You're getting up this high, you're, you still can't do anything. So like, I don't know why they would give you something for going, oh hey, this was not a solid wall. For later. I thought it was like that was a solid wall and they were just wanting me to come back from like the other side. Nope. Thing I checked. I think I'm always cautious about that and always double check. Well not always. I can't say always. I only sometimes mostly check. You know, I kind of like, I'm okay with mentioning this again since now is another episode. I kind of wish, uh, I had something I could do for, like, to celebrate one whole year of daily uploads. I still find that really cool that I've done that. Around that far. Did I get, what did I get hit by? What the heck did I just get hit by? Wind here? Nope. Hey, what do you think you're doing, random boulders? But I, I, uh, I don't really have much that I can do per se to celebrate the thing because, like, I'm not that. I don't. What would I do? I can make a video that will probably have some random gameplay modes like this Smash Bros in the background being like or like get to talk and that's probably what I'll end up doing. That's what I kinda of plan on doing. Does Rock fall here? No it falls here. Oh it does fall here, okay. But then besides that, that's pretty much it. We just made a kidney. Yep, just made a kidney. Uh, other than that, it's like I was done gameplay. I'm not really a person who would be able to do like some sort of special skit or anything. I'm not that kind of a person. I don't know how to do that or go around doing that. Also, yet to show my face on the channel. Probably won't till I eventually, hopefully one day, I almost said inevitably, but that's not true. Oh, I'll ask a question later. Alright, uh, do it. Unless I one day get Parker. Then maybe. Then maybe. First, that requires people to actually subscribe. And uh, playing Ori in the Blind Forest, I've noticed, is not gonna be the cause of that. Because so far, I've noticing uh, Ori in the Blind Forest is not doing so hot. Seeing, well, I knew Mario Party was going to be the best. That, that, was, that was clear. After Mario Party 8, it was pretty clear to me that Mario Party 4 was going to do pretty well. And that was half the reason of choosing that. Like, I needed a game to stall, and I needed a game that would do well. So I chose Mario Party 4. Did I bash through them and hurt them that way? I guess so. Am I running this way, bud? Sorry guys, to my nose. 
But, uh... Yeah, like, even Crash Bandicoot's doing better. Which is fine. That just means I guess I would have to play more emulated games, because it seems like that's... more of what is doing better reviews. Maybe watch time? I don't know. The watch time is not consistent with the views in the slightest high. Why? Okay, that's why you're there. Oh, that's a secret up here. Having the secret wall thing kind of isn't making the whole finding secrets easier, actually. It's getting me confused on if it's actual wall or if it's not a secret. <laughs> or, like, it's getting me confused on if it's not a secret or is a secret. But... Yeah, I guess, I guess emulated games should do better on this channel. Which is fine, I have more games that I can emulate. I just wish I could emulate PlayStation 2 games. I would definitely like that. I like doing my PlayStation 2 games. You know, I can't, because I have to get, uh, like a thing for it, so from like my actual PlayStation file dump something like that. So it ain't going to happen. Oh well. Sticking with PlayStation 1 GameCube will work for me, I guess. Especially since that just means I can continue to be lazy and not plug in my PlayStation 3 controller into my computer to, uh, play the said PlayStation 2 games. I can use keyboard on PlayStation 1 games. They don't need, like, triggers, really. Not all that much. Not enough to make it matter, at least. That's the important part. I probably should have done that with the spider, but... Eh. Too late. I killed the spider for experience. Oh. It gets me an ability cell. Wow. That spider really just told me, heck you. Killing me gave me, or killing me gives you less spirit light than not killing me. Well, didn't know I have a triple jump. It's down there. Okay. Is there wind here? No. How? Okay. Guess I won't get that. I'm trying to think. If I did emulate more games, I gotta figure out what games to play. Cause there's still like more GameCube games, PlayStation 1 games that I own, definitely. But I don't know how many of them would actually be all that nice to play. Also, the emulator setup is kind of annoying. Cause I gotta find the picture of the front and back cover case, which apparently, according to Crash Bandicoot, has like a different case depending on the region. Which makes that one more annoying to look at. Cause I actually don't remember what the back of the case looks like. And then there's also just the fact that like, not all the pictures are the same size and not all of them are the same quality. Some of them are really blurry. What the heck am I doing with that? Apparently pushing it up in the wind. But I'm not down, or I'm not opposed to playing, uh, more games that, or like games that I have yet to play in my life, you know, like games to play, I can play for the first time. What am I, that would still be pretty cool. I guess you're my new best friend and you're coming with me. I don't know if we can, but don't hit me. This way? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't do that. Okay, cool.
If anyone watching has any suggestions, though, for uh, what I could possibly play, I'll, I'll take it. Like, sure, why not? Oh, well. Guess this is my life. Okay, cool. But really, this still counts as unsafe. Bad spot that's definitely not unsafe. This still counts as unsafe! How are you not dying in that? That's just a wall for you? That's so unfair. I know it's being blocked by that spike, but like my instinct reaction was still get scared and stop talking. There we go. Oh, oops. That doesn't sound good. Also, no wait, <laughs> considering the laser that went through that one platform, I can still see myself taking damage to, or through the spike, somehow. Oh, sudden music change. Oh, god, yeah, well, okay, lag, apparently. Door. Now we know where we're going, at least. Wait, I still have two things I can buy for two ability set points, don't I? What do you call again? Ability cells. They give me ability points, right? I'm now scared. I'm pretty sure the next time I hit one of these, I'm dead. I have land here. Alright, okay, cool. Where's my cursor? There it is. Yeah, they're called ability points. Cool. I'm not I'm not crazy and saying the wrong thing. I should probably go under. And I feel like seeing a speedrunner do like the perfect line through that would be awesome. I don't know. Some, something tells me it would just look really cool if you could just see a speedrunner go for the perfect line on that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you wanna go have some fun with some spikes? Oh yeah, that thing I was gonna mention, like when I was talking and I didn't want to interrupt myself. So do do those things shots just not hurt me in the air when they're not the needles? Is that how that works? Cause I thought it was just a fluke and then it kept happening. So like I no longer think it's that much of a fluke. Hello. You're the last one. This spirit, another sacrifice for Nabel. Near flew through the air, she soared through the sky. Her work world knew no bounds until the force turned blind. I may or may not have hit up right there. Ignore the fact that Ori poked her head up a little bit. You've learned charge jump. To use this ability, hold LT until fully charged, and then press A to leap extra high into the air. Did everybody put the map stone in the thing after picking it up? I did. Oops. How far are we through this? Also, I just realized I haven't been playing full screen. My bad. <laughs> My bad. We were getting pretty close. I want to see if this is short and... Or, I don't know how much longer there is to Sorrow Pass. So I'm going to leave it off here. So that'll do it for this episode of 
or in the blind forest. Next time we will go ahead and finish up Sorrow Pass and now that we have the last ability as I told you in last I hit right the wrong button. Uh as I told you in last episode, since we got all the abilities now or skills now, um well I could also go I could go around this thing. But there's gonna be a backtracking episode after we get out of Sorrow Pass. So even if it ends up being a short amount of time, we have a whole backtracking episode to go through. Which will also be next episode no matter what. I adjust my headphones. I should have just waited until after I hit the stop recording button. But yeah, see you all then. Bye bye.